Hey, good morning, my friends. Welcome back. It's time for us to join together in aligning our minds with the truth of God. And you know, for me, one of the things that's helpful in doing so is to just pause. Just kind of stop what I'm doing, stop all my thinking, stop all my fretting and fussing, and just take a deep breath and try to calm my mind. And this is not some new agey thing I'm trying to guide you in. I'm just trying to give you a sense of what it takes to push away all of the thoughts and feelings and other things that are trying to crowd in on us any given day and set our minds where they need to be. Because God is spirit. Those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth, Jesus said. And so for us, spiritual beings trapped in physical bodies, so to speak, We've got to do some physical things at times to realign with the spiritual part of ourselves. And sometimes that's pausing. Sometimes it's taking a deep breath. Sometimes that's realizing how crowded and jumbled and noisy our own minds are. And to clear out all that noise and to stop and focus. And the scripture is one of the things that helps us to focus because it teaches us truths of God lays them out for us in black and white, print on paper, so that we can focus on what it is saying, the truths that it has for us. Let's do that together. Let's look at Psalm 127. And we're going to look at verse number two. It says, It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil. For he gives to his beloved sleep. Now, the he is God, obviously. So let's kind of analyze this. What is the psalmist saying to us? It could sound like initially it is saying you shouldn't be an early riser and you shouldn't be a night owl. But that's not the point. You see, back when I was in college, my very first year in college, I discovered that the demands of college were such that if I wanted to make decent grades, and I did, I was going to have to Avoid some of the things that would keep me from making decent grades. That was the wildness of the college dorm, (laughs) the, the crazy things all my friends wanted me to be a part of, and honestly, that I wanted to be a part of. And I had to make some choices. And one of those choices for me was to learn how to rise early. I wasn't an early riser at that point. But I began waking up because the morning hours were the only time of quiet that I could find to get my mind clear and to focus on my studies and to actually get some studying done. And so for many years, I've had a habit of rising up early, of getting things done before others are even awake many times, because I know that in order to steward the opportunities in the life that God has given me, that's part of what's required for me to pull that off. Now, all that, just to say this, I'm not one to believe that this verse is telling us we should not rise up early. But the point is this, look at that third line where it says, we are, it is in vain that we eat the bread of anxious toil. You see, anxious toil is the point. We should not be anxiously working and striving and straining to accomplish things. We instead should be peacefully working to accomplish things as we have learned to walk in the will of God to check in with him and receive his guidance. So flip it around the other side of the first phrase where he says, it's in vain you go late to rest. The assumption is because you've been up as a night owl working, trying to crank out things. Now that's all fine as well to be a night owl and to do things in your optimal time in the evening, if that's the case for you. But the point is, don't be anxious as you do those things. It's in vain that you do those things, trying to get ahead, trying to accomplish, trying to be somebody. If anxiety is part of the picture. You see, anxiety is a sign of not trusting. It's a sign of not resting in the will and power of God for your life. So my friends, I want you to learn and I want to encourage you to fight anxiety. Continue doing the disciplines that are good for you and for your life. But let's learn not to be anxious in them, but to give them to God so that he can help. Join me again tomorrow for The Morning Mindset.